How much do you know about the scandal that got Bill Clinton impeached? Monica Lewinsky is under the microscope, Bill Clinton is under siege, and the White House is trying to contain the damage. Maybe you know the basics. The Clinton's presidency came to a screeching halt amid a storm of accusations involving sex, power, and partisan warfare. But if you're like most people, you only have a grasp on the vague outlines of what happened. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. This vast right-wing conspiracy. You're not sure how it all goes together. A real estate deal years ago in Arkansas has somehow wound up dealing with the president's sex life. Or why things broke the way they did. If it turns out to be true, it could be the end of Clinton's presidency. His presidency is over. He'll have to resign within a month or two. Congress is rushing to overthrow the commander-in-chief. This is surreal. I'm Leon Nafok, the host of the Slate podcast, Slow Burn. Last year, we brought you the story of Watergate. Over eight episodes, we took you through the fall of Richard Nixon, the way it felt at the time, back when no one knew where it was going or how it was all going to end. Now we're getting ready to do it again, this time with the impeachment of Bill Clinton. Drama, denial, and damage control. This really is a salacious and prurient story. From sex at the White House to a trial for political life. It is absolutely staggering that the fate of the most powerful man on the planet is in the hands of a completely unknown 23-year-old intern. We'll introduce you to people like Cliff Jackson, a classmate of Clinton's, who made it his mission to expose the new president's true nature. The national press and media call me his archenemy, his nemesis. You'll also meet Lucianne Goldberg, the gossipy literary agent from New York, who advised her client, Linda Tripp, to insert herself into the story. Tripp secretly taped Monica Lewinsky. Go down to Radio Shack and buy a tape recorder and plug it into your phone. And you'll learn about all the obscure scandals from Clinton's first term that set the impeachment saga in motion. They've got what is now being called Filegate. This crazy episode with Travelgate. Whitewater. Nannygate. Fornigate. That's just about it for facts. Now to the rumors. Over the past few months, the Slow Burn team has been wrestling with a bunch of hard, fascinating questions that bear directly on Clinton's legacy. Not just, Clinton, how should we feel about him? More like, what determines who we believe and whose side we take in a political fight? What does it mean to abuse one's power? And how would the events of 20 years ago play out differently if they were to take place now? Even though today it looks like it was always a foregone conclusion, that's not the way it felt at the time. You know, I'm not sure I believe in God, but I do believe in karma, and I hope that some of the people who played a major role in all of this are experiencing a little. I'm a little vindictive, as you can see. Subscribe to Slow Burn and Apple Podcasts.